Today I want to provide a brief overview of using the second tactic we discussed with barcode scanning recall, and that would be the sequencing function. Um, so what we're going to do here is set up our controller, which has eight programs, to tie programs together in a predetermined order that we choose, and then recall those programs using the sequencing function along with the barcode. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is hold escape to go into the sequence settings menu. We are going to turn the sequence on and then allocate the specific sequence we want to use. And so for this uh, demo, I'm just going to work with programs one and two. We then scroll down and we need to change the barcode mode and change that to on sequence. And as we scroll down one more time, we need to enter the specific barcode that we want to use to recall the sequence. And so here you can see that I have a preloaded barcode. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and change that. Scan the barcode I'd like to set for the sequence and click OK to confirm. If I hold escape to go out to the run menu, what I'm being prompted to do is then scan a barcode to activate or unlock the controller and the screwdriver function. As you can see, I've scanned my barcode. Uh, this is fully functional now. We have sequence loaded with program one and two. We have our screw count that we need to satisfy here. So off screen, I'm going to go ahead and do a couple of rundowns to satisfy the screw count. As you can see now, I'm on program two. I've satisfied that screw count. And what I'm being asked to do now is to scan the same barcode that I preloaded to activate the sequence once again um, at the start function. If you have any questions on this, would like to see a demo or learn more about our product line, please feel free to email us culver at culverusa.com or visit our website, www.culverusa.com.